Greetings, it is I, Susie Q. We're working with Are You a Victim of Love? <laughs> Part two, repetitive thinking to independent thinking. I have a quote to start us uh, with this uh, engagement. The law of control says that we feel good about ourselves to the exact degree to which we feel we are in control of life. And that we feel bad about ourselves when we feel out of harmony with ourselves to the exact degree to which we feel are controlled by our outer circumstances, by other people, by things beyond our own control. Now, this is a book that we have, and the author is Carol K. Truman. And the book is Feelings Buried Alive Never Die. <laughs> so, all right, so we're going to look at some contrasting energies here. Again, it's about, it is about uh, repetitive thinking to independent thinking. All right. Like I'm taken for granted. Like I'm, ta like I'm taken for granted. I feel loved, appreciated, and valued for my contribution by everyone. I feel loved, appreciated, and valued for my contribution by everyone. I feel loved, appreciated, and valued for my contribution by everyone. Like I'm good for nothing. Like I'm good for nothing. I'm a very valuable person. I value myself. <laughs> I feel I am of great worth. I'm a very valuable person. I value myself. I feel I am of great worth. I'm a very valuable person. If I value myself, I feel I am of great worth. The next one is, things never work out for me. I feel that I'm a very fortunate person. Things always work out for me. I feel that I'm a very fortunate person. Things always work out for me. I feel that I'm a very fortunate person. Things always work out for me. I can't remember names or faces. <laughs> I can always remember names and faces. Names and faces will always come to me at the precise moment I have a need to recall. Like I don't belong, excluded, left out like a stranger. I feel like I do belong, like I'm included, like a friend. Everyone enjoys my company. I always feel comfortable wherever I am. I'm sick at heart. <laughs> I'm sick at heart. I feel at peace with this situation. Everything is perfect. I feel at peace with this situation. Everything is perfect. I feel at peace with the situation. Everything is perfect. All right. Like there's no way out. Like there's no way out. I feel resolute. There is a way out and I'll find it. There is an answer to every challenge and it's close at hand that everyone hassles me, <laughs> that everyone hassles me. Forgiveness, unconditional love. I feel everyone loves me, including myself. My life flows with order and ease. I feel at peace. I feel at peace. Like I'm responsible for making everyone happy. I allow others to be responsible for their own happiness. I only feel responsible for my own happiness. I assist in any way that I'm able, but I also allow them for their own experiences. Like a failure. <laughs> like a failure. I feel successful. I feel competent. I feel confident. I feel capable. I achieve in everything that I do. Worthless. I feel valuable. I feel useful. I feel important. I feel worthy of praise. I feel valuable. I feel useful. I feel important. I feel worthy of praise. <laughs> All right. So, sometimes we're like thinking, oh God, I'm not doing my best. <laughs> 
what else do I need to do? What's going to happen to me? <laughs> you start looking at the contrast, you know, in this book, Feelings Buried Alive, Never Die, um, has been a really pivotal book for me. You know, sometimes when we do these practices at the Omni Chiropractic, we start kind of using some of these books uh, to support a person with emotions. What's, what's going on with their emotional state, right? And so I've been doing this for a number of years, uh, maybe five years, I don't know. But it's been a really great book for me to kind of process um, something that's really bad and then all of a sudden you can kind of go into another vibe and go into a more positive approach going forward. So all of this has been super fun. I'm really loving and enjoying um, sharing some of my written pieces. I've been doing it since 2008. I've been writing for a long time and some of that material was from the book and some of it wasn't. <laughs> But it's really fun to just kind of notice that, you know, as a writer, I really um, appreciate the value of, of words, you know. Sometimes you think it's, oh, so many words, right? I mean, clearly I have a lot of words, right? And then eventually I'll start kind of accessing some of this written material, putting it into a video, and, and seeing if people have an interest in some of these uh, standards or some of these comparisons. So this, all of this has been super fun, super groovy, and I just love sharing this material. I've got, I've got so many pages of written material, and every once in a while I pick one thing, and then, um, then I'll be working with that. So it's really great. So I'm, I'm happy that you're, if you're listening to this, just um, remember that you know I do the work of quantum healing hypnosis technique. I'm an akashic reader. I'm an automatic writer and I've um, got all kinds of subconscious clearing and working with walk-ins and near-death experiences. All of these are kind of deep. It's kind of deep, <laughs> but it's kind of fun too. You know, I really love the subconscious clearings and, you know, kind of clearing some things out, bringing some new energy in, working with the ancestors. All of this has been uh, a great experience for me since I've been up here in sunny Scottsdale. I've got a lot of space to do this work and I love and embrace sharing all of this content. <laughs> it's been super fun. So there's more that I could do uh, with some of these uh, some of the work that I am engaging with, and eventually um, there might be a book. <laughs> we'll see, right? All right, so we'll see you soon, and a namaste. <laughs>